What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out Stop Stalking Wrestlers by none other than Polana Productions. I have seen so much cringe on social media when it comes to people like trying to get wrestlers autographs and stuff like that. The recent one I've seen was Liv Morgan at an airport, I believe, and all these grown ass men like running up to her trying to get her autograph and stuff. It's just it's cringe i get it there's nothing wrong with being a fan you know i understand even one to try to get you know an autograph from someone or a picture if you possibly can but at the same time it's a time and a place and a lot of times they're just trying to get to their flight they kind of don't want to be bothered and you sitting up there trying to you shove a pen and paper or some wrestling marabil uh, marabilia i can't even say it like wrestling item like maybe a championship belt or a poster in their face so they can sign it so you can try to sell it you know it's like some of that 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 can that can be cringe bro like they're people too at the end of the day stop stalking them let them live them lives let them entertain us they deserve to have some downtime as well so we're gonna check out some of these probably cringe ass moments i'm sure he's gonna talk about the Liv morgan situation because that ugh, grown ass men just groveling at Liv to get a signatures cringe Let's get right into this. Viral across the internet of Rey Mysterio being stalked by some people who wanted his autograph to sell some merch and make more money. Take a look. They don't let us do shit like this anymore. So I'm signing for you guys to make money. <laughs> and we appreciate it. Ray, I've been a fan. It's the fact that I'm seeing Ray without a mask, even though he, he's been seen without a mask. But it's just like, bro, look at this. Look what y'all doing. Says WWE will not let him sign autographs, rejects fans' requests, and is, I mean, I'm pretty sure because they can just sell it. But even then, bro, look, they got fucking toy uh, Funko Pops ready for him to sign. It's so cringe. That's some cringe ass shit, bro. That's cringe, bro. Since I was a little kid, man. Look, the fans come up and ask for an autograph. Well, I, I actually am a fan. Back in the 80s, dude. That's why I'll sign one. I am a huge fan, man. <laughs> I signed one for you. First of all, you aren't a Rey Mysterio fan if you're recording him without a mask. The disrespect yeah. is crazy. It is out. Yeah, and, that, and that's another thing. I was just, I'm glad he said that. First of all, seeing Rey without a mask, I've seen him without a mask, obviously, before. But it just, it don't hit. It's not, if you're a real fan and I see Ray, I'm not even taking a picture. I'm like, yo, you Ray Mysterio, and I love your work, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to take a picture because I know there's some people that still don't know how you look. I respect the, respect your culture, you know, respect the luchador culture and stuff like that. I'm going to chill on it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, I wouldn't even want to take a picture because I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I, I just couldn't do that. I don't know, bro. Y'all are y'all different now. Of this world. Even though we all know how he looks, this just isn't cool. On top of that, you aren't a fan who casually just saw him at the airport. You're you not. guys have a ton of things with you, and you want him to sign all of it. This yeah. was clearly done with the intent of finding him or other wrestlers to make some more money Fuck from it. them. I don't Cringe. know how much research went behind this, but this shit is just weird. Rey Mysterio isn't the only victim yep, I saw of this. this. Clip. Another video shows Liv Morgan absolutely bombarded at the airport with a bunch of people asking her for an autograph similar to Rey Mysterio these people have so much merch with them it's like they were just waiting there expecting to see someone from the WWE this is just sad and Liv Morgan signed all of it but I feel bad for her she didn't have to do that yeah shout out to Liv she could have said hey go away but Liv signed every single one of these bozos stuff right bro that's bro these, these are grown-ass men now, granted, maybe somebody's trying to get a sign for their for for their children, and that could be the case. That may be the case, but honestly, bro, me just personally, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I, I'd rather take my children to the actual fucking show. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not doing that. Like that, she's just trying to get to her next flight. Got you know stuff that she got to take care of. You know, and it's I I just to me. It's, it's just, it's cringe. People like Sasha Banks have complained about this in the past, rightfully so. I can't believe I have to say this, but y'all weirdos gotta stop stalking wrestlers, especially at the airports. Yes. These situations reminded me of what happened to John Cena a few years ago when a fan started to record him without even asking for his consent. Sir, sir, John Cena, oh no. The wrestling, wrestling guy. 
Are you the WWE? Yeah. I swear that's him, bro. Welcome to London, bro. Are you are you still are you WWE in it? Yes. Wow, whoa. Okay. Nice to see you. I'm with uh, John Cena at WWE, innit? Okay. Thank you for asking. Why is that you or? No, thank you for asking to take your video. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. And after Johnson was visibly upset with this guy, he continued to record him for another few minutes before Johnson had left the store. Yeah. That's Take so... care, bro. Yep. Bro, shout out to him having a lot more restraint. Shout out to John, bro. He had a lot of restraint, bro. Don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Had to deal with that <laughs> as us. Chill wrestling fans. I, uh, well, I don't, you know, he don't even seem like a fan. He's just, oh, you're John Cena from WWE. I'm like, I don't know, man. That's just so, so lame. Um, I've got some advice for you. What advice do you have for John Cena? I don't think he's the one who needs the advice over here. Neither did John Cena, and that's why he had this to say. Yes, um, be respectful. All right, I'll be respectful. That's my advice for you. I'm my my name. Ask if you can take a video, but yeah. you're just shooting video. No, you know, you so know me. I'm respectful. famous. I don't want to talk to you. I'm famous. I'm talk. Modine. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't treat anyone with respect. All right, I, I respect treat you. Treat people with respect. I got Thank you for asking to film my video <laughs> and then filming the entire time I'm in the store. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I, right? I'm a you know speaker's corner. Cool no. Bro, he is so bro. He's a bozo. I'm famous. Oh, you're a bozo. If you're famous, do you understand the the plight of other famous individuals who just want to get their, their everyday chores, not chores, but like everyday situation errands done without being harassed? If you're quote unquote famous, then you would know it's not cool to do stuff like this. London, I don't care. I help Thank people. Thank you very much for being respectful. I, I'm, I swear, if you need anything, just let me know. As you can see, that guy was clearly a fool. And I'll say it again, stop stalking wrestlers or recording any famous person for that matter. It is Thanks. weird and you should know better. Speaking of John Cena, this is still a problem since people have been taking photos of uh -huh. him at a shoot for his new movie. Which I and recently this saw. this is what he was wearing. This has got to be the funniest picture I've seen of John Cena. <laughs> Whatever movie this is, I'm watching it because I know I'll get a good laugh from it. And now let's get on to Tony Khan gassing up a war between AEW and WWE that simply just doesn't exist anywhere else but in his own mind. What's interesting is the story that is the most real, the most intense, and the most hatred in all of pro wrestling is that between the two wrestling promotions. I think we truly, truly hate each other. And I think it makes for really exciting uh, TV. I don't know about that. Tony, I'm, I'm, I don't hate some of the fans, some of the cringe wrestling fans have definitely tried to perpetuate that narrative. Hate. Come on, bro. Stop it. This is not. The crazy thing is. WWE barely takes shots at a they have, but they barely take shots at AEW. It has happened, but it's very rare. AEW, even though I like some of the stuff that they do, and some of the stuff I'm not a big fan of, they have talked about WWE way more on their program, and you would think, like, you know what I'm saying, that wouldn't be the case, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know about the hatred. I think that's a little bit too far. Competitive, sure. Hatred, no. Cut it. It's not the Monday Night War. TV, and it makes for an exciting wrestling war. This is him explaining why he feels like WWE started this war with him and his company. About two years ago, uh, there was a rumor I read on the internet that my business partner, New Japan Pro Wrestling, had gotten a phone call from Nick Khan about switching over to work with them. And... I called the New Japan executives and said, is this true? Did WWE call you and try to get you to turn on me? And they said, yeah. And I said, okay, well, are we still doing the stuff we have planned? And they told me, no, we don't trust them. We want to work with you and we want to stay with you. And ever since our relationship has been incredibly positive. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say that WWE wasn't trying to take business. And here's the thing. He may have truth to that. I do, uh, I do believe him on certain stuff. I'm pretty sure there are some underhanded stuff going on behind the scenes. But the thing is, 
when it comes to the forefront at the end of the day, yes, WWE does recognize them as competition, but they also know that the bigger wrestling company is still WWE. They're the biggest wrestling company in the world. AEW is not there. They're just not. They're not. I'm not saying that they can't get there, but as it stands, WWE is still at the top of the mountain. You know what I'm saying? Of wrestling companies. You can choose to watch whoever you want to watch. But I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, in my opinion, I wouldn't put the narrative out that they hate you. It's just, you know, it's all about them trying to assert their dominance. It's competition. There's going to be some backstabbing. There's going to be some underhanded stuff that happens. That's that's just business in general. Not even just wrestling. Business corporations do this all the time. So I would think he would understand that that's just how it is. And I wouldn't take it too hard. Focus on your product, make your product the best it could possibly be, and then go from there. Away from AEW because it sounds like they were, but this sounds like your standard and typical business decision when competition comes along, Thank especially you. when AEW first came around. The WWE just didn't want them to take the market share. This happens everywhere, and it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a giant war between AEW and Thank WWE. You. If anything, it sounds like Tony Khan takes things way too personal in an environment where you have to put your feelings and emotions to the side. This isn't a war, it's just AEW constantly trying to take shots at WWE with WWE basically ignoring it. Tony Khan has got to grow up and be more professional about the situation. He also then brought up WWE and their contract tampering. You know, I've had a lot of wrestlers come to me and allege that WWE reached out to them to tamper with their contracts and ask them to break their contracts. I can't confirm that specifically. I can only tell you what the wrestlers have come to me and said, but I've had Which multiple wrestlers and staff report that to me. It was a very disturbing. Isn't this the same company that pretty much had a job lined up for Jeff Hardy when he got out of his contract with WWE? Look, we don't know the exact details on that situation, mm -hmm. but I got a feeling like it's a lot more similar to WWE than not. Moving on from AEW, let's talk about Brock Lesnar and his fantasy about Bobby Lashley. I crawl into bed at night with my wife. All I can think about is Bobby Lashley. Yes, Brock Lesnar is funny without even trying to be funny. The <laughs> internet then made some weird, memes about bro. this promo, and I've got to say, these are some <laughs> legendary memes. We shouldn't be shocked to see all this because Bobby Lashley <laughs> isn't the only one on his mind. Weird. Have you ever seen this video of Randy Orton? I'm glad that Hunter's boys with Lemmy. Lemmy's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Randy Orton I, I could have gone the rest of my life without seeing that clip from Randy Orton. I <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> Here's an updated pic of how he looks right now, and it looks like the Viper is going to come back very soon, and I can't wait. Finn Balor hope, posted this picture, so. and I think it's time to run this back, but this time around with the demon. Here's a cute and wholesome video of the great colleague curling his son. <sighs> wow. The baby's just like, come on, Dad, you do this all the time. And the tweet of the week goes out to this. This was by far one of the funniest tweets I I've seen this week. This WrestleMania 40, too. book it, Hunter. Logan no. Paul did this to Seth Rollins at the Raw Rumble. And now, Logan oh, Paul. Paul we, by the way, we forgot about Logan Paul. Paul's still in this match. Oh. And Seth Rollins wasn't happy about it. This is what he had to say about Logan uh, Paul. Before, Thought he was going to be uh, Roman Reigns. Yeah. And now he's just dumping you. I said, Logan so, boy, has been chamber. amazing. So, so you're a Logan Paul fan. You're on the Logan Paul bandwagon. Well, I think is it's hard one? not to just respect what he has done. I mean, he's sure. unbelievable. He came in there just, why was it? How about when he selfie? Oh my God. He was up on the top. Oops. Seth, I see you go up there before. Yeah. He was up on the top with a selfie. <laughs> That's what he did. What yeah. the? For reference, here is that iconic video. What? You're going the back, hell? Roman. What's that, Matt? Oh yeah, this is probably this film, he filmed this probably before uh, Elimination. Frog Splash! With the camera on him. Bang. Wait, wait, wait. So, so so all of us who've come off the top rope before, it's not it's not as special because we just didn't have a camera pointed at our oh. own stupid face. Oh, you gotta do Stu's job too. Stu's cameraman there. <laughs> yeah. Stu, let, let we we have jobs. people whose job it is to shoot us and make us we don't I don't need a, a selfie 
to make myself look oh, good. Oh, it was cool. It was yeah. so cool. It was so cool. Was so the guy cool. doesn't care about nothing but himself, oh, man. Whoa. He doesn't care about nothing but himself. Oh, brother. I, look, I can respect the hustle, all right? I, I respect the hustle. I really do because it takes hustle to get where he's at and to get the opportunities that he's he's got. But at the end of the day, it's about passion. He, he Like, no one's just going to suit up and play NFL football because they're a social media superstar, right? They're going to get creamed. So Destroy. he's going to step into my world, and he's going to get creamed. And if you – look, if you want to contribute and you want to give back to our industry, you're a fan of it, you're a fan of it. You love it, right, right. Pat? Yeah. You're a fan of it. You love it. You give back to it. You talk about it. Any chance you get, you put it over. Hell yeah. You love it. That's not him, dude. That's not him. He's in it for himself. Oh. He's in it for himself. He's in it for his own game. <laughs> Bro, Pat McAfee is a gem. He hit the – oh, damn, I never realized. <laughs> This is crap. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want you a part of my business if you're just gonna leech off of it and you're oh. gonna take from it. Great if you're gonna come and you're gonna help out and you're gonna make everything as good as you can. But if you're gonna come and you're gonna do it for you, and and look, I can only judge based on what he's done in the past, yeah. his own history, yep. and because that's that's a foretelling for the future. That's why I don't like the guy. That's why I don't dig the guy. And he's going to go rub it in on social media. He's going to talk his talk, but he don't want to say nothing to my face. What? He don't want to say nothing to my face. I that love that. Like uh, Logan? Logan? Oh, no, it doesn't sound like Logan. Yeah, yeah, right. He, of course, not. With that. I didn't, yeah. I didn't expect this Jeez. to turn into this. I just, I'm just saying. You can love him all you want. I, he's polarizing. But for me, he's not for me. He's just not my cup of tea. So you know what? Man. If he wants to say something to my face, then we can talk about it. We can talk about it if okay. he wants to do that. I'm an easy guy to find. You know where to find me every Monday night. I show up. I go to work. I put in the time. I respect the business. I respect what we have to do a day-to-day grind. You know where to find me. Logan Paul, I don't know where to find I can fly down to Puerto Rico and try to find him. Yeah. I think that's where he lives or something like that. But yeah, that's a needle. <laughs> tax evasion. Whoa. 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 <laughs> that was the thing. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul is about to be so fire. Based off of that, I cannot wait. I am excited. And let's end this video on a positive note with Big E and a bunch of other wrestlers surprising the Wrestle Club. It will always be bigger than just wrestling. This is what wrestling is really about. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's cool. That's cool. Glad to see uh, Big E up and about. That's cool, man. <laughs> that's, oh, that warms my heart. This made the kids' day, for sure, man. That's that that is awesome. Seeing stuff like that, that is awesome. Looks like he probably filmed this. When did he film this? Oh uh, yeah, it was it was before the elimination chamber. But I, I wanted to definitely check this video out because it, it, there was some good topics in there. First and foremost, don't be creeps, y'all. Let people do their you know do their day to day life. You know what I'm saying? If you happen to see them and the situation seems appropriate and they're cool with it, ask first. Don't just have some items out for them to sign without asking like hey can you do this on off rip you know or have your phone out trying to record them and take a picture without their consent ask first if they say yes cool if they say no all right cool hey it was nice to meet you keep it moving bro don't be weird don't be creepy don't be stalking don't do none of that it's, it's not it's not what's up man so uh this was a great video i am looking forward to seeing what happens with logan paul and uh seth rollins i do think that's going to be quite a interesting match at wrestlemania uh this year they're gonna i i they could potentially steal the show i i do think so so we'll see how that plays out but comment down below let me know have any of you guys ever met some wrestlers in person and let me know when and where if you did meet them or see them out and about but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel Road to 150k, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ, and also you're in the clutch world heavyweight champ. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.